Hi YouTube, this is Mike, also known as the Wizard of Odds. Today is the 13th of July, 2020. In case you don't recognize me, I've got a COVID beard going on here and I'm not cutting my hair either until things get back to normal. But the topic of this video is going to be Oscar's Grind, which is a betting system. It's the third one that I've covered in my series on betting systems. The previous two were on the Fibonacci and the Lab Rocher. So much like the previous two, in fact exactly like the previous two, with the Oscars grind you either win a little or you use a lot. And usually you will win a little which may cause people to have a false sense of security that it really works. Like every bidding system they all fail in the long run. But let's keep an open mind and I will explain how it works and go through an example and then go through some simulation results and we will conclude all this at the end. But before I forget to say it, if you like this video, please thumb me or better yet subscribe to my channel. But next let's go on to an example of how the Oscars grind works. Let me explain it before I get into the example. The First you have to set a goal and decide what your bankroll is. For example, your goal might be to win $100 and your bankroll is $1,000. Now, your first bet is always equal to your goal and then it's really quite simple. After a loss, you keep your bet the same, but after a win, you increase your bet by whatever your unit size is or whatever your winning goal is, uh, the two things being equal. However, there's two exceptions. If you only need to win less than whatever your bet size is to achieve your winning goal, then just bet whatever will cause you to achieve your winning goal and no more. And if you don't have enough money to make whatever is supposed to be your next bet size, then drop down and bet whatever you can. That said, let's look at an, at an example, shall we? For our example, we will be playing Baccarat and making only bets on the player, which pay even money to keep the math nice and simple. And you can find this at my website, wizardofodds.com. In fact, the exact URL is wizardofodds.com slash play slash Baccarat. So first you have to decide what is my goal and what is my bankroll. So in this example, my goal is going to be $500 and my bankroll is $10,000. So I'm either and you define, you start your bet size at whatever your winning goal is, in this case $500. So let's jump right in and bet $500, shall we? And we win. We won our $500 and we can walk away happy. But that would not be a very good example, would it? So let's play a second session, shall we? Okay, it's time for our second example. I reset the balance to $10,000. So here we go. So here we lost. So we bet again the same amount, bet size of $500. And here's a tie. So we just ignore that and do the same bet again of $500. And here we won, which brings us back to our starting point of a $10,000 balance. Now normally you would increase your bet to two units or $1,000 in this situation, but we only need 500 more to achieve our winning goal. So we just stay at that. And we lost. So again, after a loss, you keep your bet the same. So another $500. And we lost again. So again, keep the bet size the same at one unit of $500. And we lost again. So again, you just keep your bet the same after a loss or a tie. Okay, here we won. So as said before, after a win, you increase your bet size by one unit or whatever your winning goal is. In this case, we increase it from 500 to 1,000. So here we go, $1,000. 
and a tie, so we just do the same thing again. And we lost, so as said before, after a loss you just keep your bet size the same. So another two units of 500 each or $1,000 on the player. Here we go, and we win. As stated before, after a win you increase your bet size by whatever your unit is. In this, in this case, we increase it from 1,000 to 1,500. And I'm gonna check that that doesn't overshoot my goal. No, it doesn't. If I win the next hand, I will be at 10,500, which is exactly what my goal is. So one, two, three bets of 500, and here we go. And we win. We have achieved our goal of a $500 net profit so we can walk away happy. Next, I just want to show you quickly my page on the Oscars grind over at my website, Wizard of Odds. And it goes over much of the same information that I did in this video. I start out by explaining how to play the Oscars grind, and then I go through the results of many simulations at different numbers of units and games and bets. In particular, I go through Bakker on the player bet, craps on the pass bet, craps on the don't pass bet, roulette on any even money bet in on a single zero wheel, and the same thing with a double zero wheel. And then I have links here to some other material on betting system, and another link over here to my uh, forum where I talk about Oscars grind. So that was my look at the Oscars grind betting system. I hope you understand it and I hope you come away with a sense that in the long run it's going to lose. The, in the short run it might win but the more you play the more the results will approach statistical expectations which are a loss. There's no way you can add a bunch of negative numbers which are what bets are and expect to get a positive result. And I know that I've said exactly the same thing in my previous videos on betting systems because it's true of every betting system. So if you must use a betting system, please just use a free one like the Oscars grind. Never waste your money on one you have to pay for because you're going to be getting something that is no better and no worse than the Oscars grind measured, measured in terms of expected value and you will be giving your money to a con artist, a charlatan, whatever you may want to call him. And um, let me close this by reading to you something from my book here, Gambling 102. And this is the only thing that is in both of them word for word because I think it's important and commandments are not supposed to change. So commandment number six. Thou shalt not believe in betting systems. For every one legitimate gambling writer, a hundred charlatans are trying to sell worthless betting systems that promise an easy way to beat the casino. I know it sounds like a cliche, but if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So thank you for watching YouTube. Hope you learned something from this video. Hope you liked it. Hope it wasn't too boring. And um, if you liked it, um, please like me. Better yet, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. And if you want to suggest another betting system to analyze, please do so in the comments. Bye, YouTube.